when we talk cortisone, you need to automatically, like we talk about in all of these different lectures, you need to be thinking steroid, okay? When we talk zone, that a lot of times is going to refer to a glucocorticoid, okay, or a steroid. So cortisone is the generic name for the trade name drug Cortone. This is given for the management of adrenal cortical insufficiency uh, or Addison's disease. And it can also be given for conditions like inflammation and to reduce swelling and things like that. So what are these steroids? Okay, what are these glucocorticoids? Well, we know we have two kidneys, right? Optimally. And on top of each kidney, we have what's called an adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is like a a uh, triangular shaped gland that sits on top of either kidney. Now we know glands, what they do is they secrete hormones, okay? So from these adrenal glands, the, the adrenal glands actually secrete these steroid hormones, okay? So the action of cortisone is to replace cortisol in states of deficiency, okay? So cortisol is a glucocorticoid, and what this does, what uh, the cortisol actually does is it suppresses inflammation and normal immune response. Okay, the adrenal gland excretes these steroid hormones, including cortisol, uh, that play a central role in increasing blood sugars, immune suppre- suppression, uh, metabolism of fat, protein and carbohydrates, as well as decreasing bone formation. Okay, so in states of insufficiency, like Addison's disease, we would give uh, this cortisone to try to replace that. But in these other states of like immune states uh, or um, in the need to decrease inflammation and swelling, we could also give cortisone, okay? So that's really why we're going to be giving it, okay? A lot of times in, in post-op floors or SICUs, things like that, where I, where I work in neuro ICU, we end up giving uh, steroid hormones a lot to try to decrease the swelling of the brain uh, after surgery and, and in states like that. So therapeutic class is anti-asthmatic or corticosteroid. Pharmacologic class is corticosteroid. Some of the nursing considerations to keep in mind. Now, what you need to really keep in mind with any medication is that when we give a medication, we need to look at what's going to happen if it does too good of a job, okay? So for example, in with cortisone, some of the things we need to keep in mind are osteoporosis or Cushingoid appearance as well. So remember, we're giving it um, to try to treat kind of the Addison's disease, but we, what we can do is we can actually cause this Cushingoid appearance, a buffalo hump, the moon face, things of, of a patient would have Cushing's. Um, and then so we need to also watch out for increased blood sugars. It can also increase cholesterol and lipid levels. It can lead to decreased wound healing. Remember, it's going to decrease our immune response. It can lead to peptic ulcers. It can cause CNS alterations. And we need to avoid in active untreated infections. Okay, so if a patient has an active infection, we don't want to give this these corticosteroids because they're going to decrease the immune response and that infection could actually worsen. Okay, so one other thing to keep in mind here is we want to monitor liver profile and... Uh, Watch out for weight gain in our patients. Now, what you'll notice a lot of times with these, and this would happen all the time, almost every night, right? At 10 o'clock, I give my steroid. I go take my midnight blood sugars, and the patient's blood sugars are 400, okay, because they're taking these uh, glucocorticoids, and that's going to really elevate the blood sugars. So you're going to have these patients a lot of time on at least Q4-hour blood sugars, possibly more, depending on how it affects their blood sugars. But you're going to be watching those blood sugars and monitoring them closely so the patient doesn't uh, skyrocket their blood sugars. All right, that is cortisone. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.